Welcome everyone to DevPro CB's introduction to HTML5. Today we're going to be covering the article tag and what or how it benefits your, your website as a whole. Just a brief synapse on what that is. Uh, essentially the article tag is going to go ahead and allow the article content to be its own self-contained content. So it should be separated from the rest of the document. It's easy to get and essentially remove that information. Let's say you're trying to parse a website, whatever it may be. Uh, the article tag helps separate all of that information from the website itself. So um, the article tag is actually fairly simple. We'll go ahead and represent that now. It doesn't have anything special associated to it. Um, but it's just allowing you to go ahead and separate content. So think of the article tag as an extension to the body tag um, when creating articles as a whole. All right, so really it's just uh, when creating an article, let's go ahead and use the H1 tag for our title. Let's see, um, article document, article document document tutorial close that okay and then we do a break line do paragraph So this tutorial teaches us how to use the HTML5 article tag. Okay. So now what you see what I've did here, because remember I'm a couple of videos back when we didn't break the line, depending on um, which type of uh, device you're on. For example, like on a computer, you may have you know, a 1080p monitor, but if you're on a you know, cell phone, uh, when you render this page, it may uh, push it all the way to the right. Now, since we're not dealing with any CSS or JavaScript and we're strictly dealing with uh, HTML5, uh, HTML5 will always continue on. There's no break lines in the code. So yeah, every so often you have to write a break line to essentially make sure that that content goes to the next line. So it's essentially what we did in this particular one. So let's get and save this and demonstrate it. Okay. And I think there's an extra break. Let's get and remove this break here. Let's see what happens when we do that. There we go. Okay. All right. So essentially, as you can see here, it says argument article document tutorial. And this Tutorial teaches us how to use the HTML5 article tag, right? So because we broke the line here and then we wrote our content uh, for this. So we can actually probably go ahead and incorporate the address uh, tag that we just learned in the previous video um, here as well. Right? And remember what the address tag did was written by Carlos. Save that. Okay. And you see what it did, which actually looks pretty much like an article. Uh, so you have your title, you have your basic content here, and then when you use the address tag, it represents that it was written by Carlos, it was written by me. Um, and that's all it really comes down to, but everything is within the article tag. So uh, I think it was a second or third video we did, uh, we talked about nesting. So the body would be considered just to keep the math simple and, and not to confuse you, uh, body in this particular case would be considered zero, article will be considered one in the hierarchy, and then these would be children of the article, and the article is a child of the body. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, go ahead and review a couple of the other previous uh, videos that we were talking about. But the article really, it's just to separate the overall content from most of the content that's available, right? So if we get in and in, uh, inspect our element, what we can go ahead and do is actually just delete it. And it's, it's gone. So you still have the main content, 
but the actual article is gone. And this could be used for snipping information for another website. Um, obviously, this can be used maliciously as well as its good benefits as well. Uh, for example, like if JavaScript or PHP were uh, processing a particular page, it can just look for the article tag, remove it, and then place it somewhere else. So there are definitely malicious capabilities that are associated to it. But there are also major benefits on the dynamic side when working with this content as well. Um, so a lot of times if you're going to use... The article tag, most people aren't going to be malicious, but it is something that, you know, since it is kind of separating content in its own little area, it's a lot easier to pull that information overall. So I want to let you know about that as well as we go through these um, more advanced tags um, after the previous simple ones that we've done. Is there are definitely huge benefits because HTML5 has really allowed more control of the data that's being displayed, but it's also made it easier to essentially take data from a website as well. Um, but as you can see, the article tag is, is nothing complicated. You can have multiple articles uh, running at a given time. All right, so let's go ahead and just add the second article. We're just going to copy this content just to make this go a little bit quicker. Save that. <clears throat> okay, so now we have two articles. Um, but the way I want to show it is here. So you have this article. See, so now you have, like we said, you have two articles, right? So you see the top one, it's separated and essentially what would be, what, like I like to call a division or a div, if you're familiar with that term in the older um, portions of it. So it's separated in its own content, put it in its own area, but then you have the second article right below that. So you can do article, 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 article. You can just keep going, going, going. So article is really nice because it allows you to separate an article or your content in a specific format, kind of like putting another chunk of data in its own space. Uh, really, that ends the... Um, need for the article tag itself. It's not a complicated tag to get up and running. Um, this will also benefit on the SEO standpoint later in the future as well, uh, just because you're representing to the search engines what this particular type of content is and how it represents uh, your website as a whole. Like I said, you can also use the address tag in the middle of the article. Now, in the previous tutorial, we didn't cover it, just to get in, kind of just put this as a brief synapse. Um, this is essentially stating that this person that wrote this article, so this person here, let's get and just make this simplified here. So we call this person Bob, right? So if the address tag is used within the article tag, Bob owns this article, but he does not own this article. Now, if we took this address field, And we did Sally. Okay. <clears throat> so what ended up happening is what we've done is we've taken it out of the article field. So how this was, will be represented to a search engine or anybody reading uh, the data will be that Carlos wrote this article, Bob wrote this article, but Sally owns both articles associated to this website. So even though Bob and Carlos are associated to the, ad, uh, the address tag under these two articles, Sally owns the page associated to these two articles. Um, so when we start getting into a little bit more of the advanced HTML setup, you're going to realize that you can have ownership for the page and you can have ownership for individual content as well. This is going to help benefit later on, especially as you become a larger website or your news website. You may have different factions of your site representing different uh, writers. Obviously, writers want to get their uh, accreditation for what they're um, providing to your website. And with HTML5, it's going to be very easy to, to display that. And the search engines are going to be able to get and parse that data much better. Um, so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is Carlos from DevProCB, and I'm signing out.